everyone, welcome to the very first video in my 2019 back to school homeschool prep series. For the past three years, I have been doing a week worth of like back to school videos and I share different ideas and different things to prepare us for back to school. So today I wanted to share my homeschool room tour. Um, I'm going to be leaving last year's room tour in the description box down below. I have changed some things since then. I loved how our room was set up last year, but um, with a now 19 month old, I've had to change some things up. And also as the year went on, I realized some things didn't work and also just different things. Um, we've changed some stuff around. So I wanted to give you another tour and um, I wanted to tell you where everything is from. So pretty much this area is an offshoot of our living room. So it's like right next to the couch, um, but it's an, a perfect size space for us. And we love that we have this space. We have a really long living room and this space is kind of like separated. It's like an offshoot. It's kind of an awkward space. So it's perfect for the homeschool space. So let me go ahead and show you what I have done this year. Okay, so here's kind of a, a broad span of, so right here is, the couch. So this is kind of a general overview of the space and I'm going to go through each thing. So I'm going to start with this bookshelf. This bookshelf I got from Ikea. It was $15. So it was a really good price. It was either $15 or $20, but it was a great price. Um, I wish we had a little bit of a larger bookshelf and eventually that is on our list but um, this was just such a great price and the other bookshelves I've looked at are about um, twenty to, uh, to, uh, about $100. So for now, this is what we are going to be using. So let me go ahead and show you what is on the bookshelf. So over here, I actually purchased this from Hobby Lobby and I purchased it to put all the curriculum. It was on clearance and I got a really good price and I wanted to store all the curriculum on there, but unfortunately it's too short and none of the curriculum fit in here. So I decided to kind of, I'm still working on it, but I'm gonna have like a things I print out um, section and then things that I need to lam like cut out uh, those are going to be in the middle and then I have these envelopes of different packs that I buy Like I buy a lot of things from the shop called let's play school and I put them all in these um, Zipper pouches here, so I'm just going to keep all those zipper pouches in one of the slots And then I'm going to have another slot for just like cardstock paper construction paper and regular paper, so I just had to change that. The plan changed it a little bit because I was hoping to use it for a curriculum, but that's okay. So behind that, it kind of covers it now, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. We have our 50 states book, our maps book, and then an atlas. And we pull those from time to time. There are larger books, so they don't fit like in baskets or anything like that. But I like having those reference books on hand. And then back there, I just have like an extra chalkboard. Um, this basket I have, it's empty, and I just use that for like, um, we do a lot of like hunts, like I'll hide uh, sight words and my daughter has to like hunt for them, or my son will have to do like a letter hunt. Um, I should mention, my daughter is going into first grade, my son is starting pre-K, pre-K three, pre-K four, his birthday's in September and he's turning four. So, um, and then I have a 19 month old. So, um, this basket is just for that. Like I like to keep that on hand. And then this, I'm really excited about. Um, this I, I have seen in a few wood shops, um, these like salt sand trays where you put like a flash guard here and you copy it on the tray like this. And they are pretty pricey and I actually had my dad make this for me so I was super excited he made it for me and he did a super job so I'm really excited to add that to like our wood collection this year because he's amazing um, and then on this next section 
I had this, um, this board is from Treasures from Jennifer. She's an awesome Etsy shop and she sells tons of stuff on there. And the things you use on this board, we have here letters. These are lowercase letters and uppercase actually, both. And then here I have the numbers. And then I also have the pom-poms. So you could do word building, counting, adding, a bunch of different things. Then I also have 10 frames. I'm not quite sure where they are right now. I stored a bunch of stuff um, away when I was organizing and kind of decluttering this room. And I think they might be in the homeschool closet. So I have to pull those back out. But I have these beads that go with the 10 frame. And all of that is from Treasures from Jennifer. And then back here in this mason jar, I just have some wood clips that we'll use for different things. They're just nice to have on hand. And then I have these pointers that are from the Target Dollar Spot. And then this is a dancing ribbon from Sarah's Silks. And the kids use that like every single day. So I just put it there because it fits nicely. And then we just have a wood ruler um, here as well. Then, and this crate is from the Target Dollar Spot. This crate is from the Dollar Spot a few years back. Pretty much any time there's wood crates, I buy them and kind of store them for the future. So this is kind of like my teacher caddy. I have dry erase markers, a pie, because this is the only marker that does not come out of couches. We have the Ikea couch and it's washable and everything has come out of it, but my 19 month old got dry erase marker on a little section and it has not come out. So these are up high, out of reach. Um, then some scissors, stapler, hole punch. I just like to have these things easy access in case I wanna prepare something like super fast for the kids. I have that here. Then I have, this is what we used to use as our salt tray before my dad made me this. But I like having this for, um, we could use it for kinetic sand, salt, whatever. Um, it's just a great wood box to have it. And this was from Michael's. And then in here we have our Montessori wood letters. So that is there. And then this wood crate is a recent Target Dollar Spot purchase. And I'm just adding um, we added art into our homeschool curriculum this year, so any art supplies we will be using, I'll add into this section. So we have oil pastels, this little painting tray from Ikea, paintbrushes, do a dot markers, and then anything else we need, I'll add to this section. And then I tried to put this high and hidden. This is our pencil sharpener, but I want to make sure my little one doesn't get it. Then um, I use the printer like all the time. So I decided to move it out here. We had it in like an office closet, but it's just much easier to have it out and easy for me to get to. So I put it right here. Then we have some like little Melissa and Doug workbooks that the kids use and then just like coloring books and different things like that. And then this bottom basket is from Hobby Lobby. And I just have random toys, whatever toys the kids want to bring from their rooms to downstairs. Once the basket's full, we clean it out and they pick new toys to bring downstairs because both of their rooms are upstairs. Um, and then here we have our magnet tiles and tegu blocks. The kids have been playing with them and I think a bunch of our blocks are upstairs, but this is, I like having a separate basket for that so that um, those are easy to get to. And then this board we've had for years, so my little one uses that. It's just like a Etch-a-Sketch uh, board, but like a different brand. So that is the bookshelf. Then over here I have this cube organizer. And on here, I had this wood crate, which I got at an antique shop. And this is kind of like our art, uh, like regular school supplies. That's like specific for art. But these are like our everyday school supplies. So we have our pencils, glue, scissors, markers, more color pencils, and then these color pencils, painting things. These are like uh, painting sticks. We love these. They're called gel crayons. Um, a dry erase board. This I just have out so I don't lose it for the first day of school. And here I have quick sticks. These are kind of painting sticks that dry instantly. So we love them. They're solid tempura paint. So the kids use these, not really for school, but more like 
for art and playing and drawing and all the things. These I had bought like really expensive crayons and this is pretty much what's left of it. I got the crayon tray from Treasures from Jennifer but these did not survive. My youngest, she gets into everything and they've broken along the way and this is kind of what's left. So the kids can use it, it's there but I'm not buying more until she's older because it has all been destroyed so I'm buying the cheap things for now except for these color pencils the Lyra ones Lyra I'm not sure how you pronounce that but these I really like so I'll continue to buy these but I'm not buying crayons until she's older um, and then we love kinetic sand we play with kinetic sand unless I ban it for the day but um, they can play with this for hours and they love it and then the tray is from Target Dollar Spot a couple months ago and then these are things I'll pull out for the little ones when I'm trying to do school with my oldest. So we have this where you stack the blocks and make patterns and this is Melissa and Doug. And then in here I just have like, um, it's magnets and you can make different pictures and there's cor corresponding cards that go with that. So I just have these um, for the kids to play with whenever they like. And then the cube organizer, this one is either from Target or Walmart. I don't remember because I have one from Target and one from Walmart. Then here um, we just have, it's like our Play-Doh bin. This metal bin is from the Better Homes and Garden Line at Walmart. And then I just have another like drawing board for my youngest that she can grab. Then over here, this is my daughter's craft box. I made this for her for her birthday and it's pretty much just full of crafts. And I was so tired of always finding craft stuff everywhere that I made her bin and she has to keep all her craft supplies in this bin. And this is from Michael's, I love it. I love these bins. Then um, for our math curriculum, this is where I'm keeping all the um, math manipulatives and supplies and all the things. Then, here um, I made like a spelling kit. Um, there is an Instagrammer who I will leave linked down below who goes through all the, um, she does a much bigger kit than I did, but she creates like an awesome word building spelling kit. Um, so I'll leave her Instagram account down below because I totally got the idea from her. And this is like the smaller version of the craft bin there. And then I have another craft bin and I'm just gonna be making like a preschool bin for my son um, where he can have like activities and things ready to go for him in that bin. And I can just pull that bin out when he wants to do school and have that ready for him. And then this is our morning basket. I have to update it. We haven't been doing morning basket over the summer. So I have to update that, but this is where we keep all our morning basket stuff. I like that the basket's like easy to pull out and it fits a ton of stuff. It doesn't look that big, but it fits. It's like really stretchy and fits a ton of stuff. So I love it. Um, and that I got off of Amazon. It's a little bit pricey, but definitely worth the investment. And then up here, I just purchased this off of um, from Hobby Lobby. And this is gonna be where we display any of the artwork. And then once it's full, we gotta change it out. So I just like that it's like neutral and goes with all the seasons. And then for each holiday, I can add like a garland to go along with it. But I like how easy the clips are to use. So, um, and I'm sorry if I sound out of breath. I'm 25 weeks pregnant and I'm just like out of breath talking so much. So anyway, so over here, this shelf, um, my aunt and my uncle were getting rid of it and I was happy to take it off of their hands. Um, and I love displaying like our chalkboards and wood things. Um, so the tracing board has, um, that's from the treasures from Jennifer shop. Then on the back we have all uppercase letters. And then this wood clock is also from treasures from Jennifer. And then this is a travel size from Chalk Full of Designs. And it has alphabet, just regular writing, numbers and shapes so i like that um and then down here this is a math pack from let's play school and i'm going to be adding she has a lot of packs that look like that that i've purchased so i'm going to be adding a few that we'll use regularly like whatever we're learning at the time and then this is just full of chalk and an eraser for our chalkboard and then this i just purchased before i had books on a ledge, but 
I decided to use this instead. I purchased this from Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna be putting whatever units like we're currently learning or if it's like a specific holiday, I'm gonna be putting those books in here. And it fits quite a bit, so I'm really happy with this. I was looking for a long time for one that I thought would be perfect for that and large enough for that. Then over here we have another wood organizer. I think this one's from Target and that one's from Walmart. I'm pretty sure. So um, in here, this white bin is specifically for um, library books. And then once we get closer to like the holidays that I use a lot of books, I'll put those books in here too. Like Christmas, we have like 20 books, so they're not gonna fit all here. So I'll put some in here too. But I have this dedicated for like library books and stuff like that so they don't get mixed in with our regular books. Then this is what I decided to use to store our curriculum for the time being. We'll see how it works. Um, so this is gonna be just my daughter's curriculum because for my son I have the preschool box. So I'm still printing out and putting together all the curriculums but everything's gonna go in that bin. It'll be easy for us to get to. And then these are books we're just currently like, I wanna have on hand for the kids. And I just changed these out and we have a bookshelf upstairs and I just rotate the books. That way not all the books are upstairs. And these crates are from, I think like Home Goods or one of those. And then we have two art trays. We're gonna be purchasing two more since we're gonna have a total of four kids. Um, and we use these for all the things, all our art projects, any crafts, Play-Doh, all of that stuff. We use these trays. They're super cheap. They're like $2 from Ikea. And like I said, we currently have two. My daughter took the other one to her room, but we just slide them right there. And then my favorite part of the homeschool room is this. My husband and my dad made me the table. The table has been well-loved. But the nice thing is this was pretty affordable. Sorry, my phone's like right there. Um, this was pretty affordable. So over the years, like as this gets worn, like as you can see, like it's starting to chip and stuff, um, we'll just change out the wood because the expensive part was the legs. So we can just change the top or refinish it. Um, so that's nice. Um, and then these chairs were a clearance fine from Target. Um, I got them really inexpensive because they used to sell them as two packs where now they just sell them individually. So they were clearancing them out. So I got all of them for like the price of one and a half chairs. So that was awesome. And I love it and I love our room. I would love to add a, a rug, but in all honesty, we use kinetic sand and Play-Doh pretty much every day. And I feel like that would be a nightmare with a rug. <laughs> so I think this room needs to stay without a rug. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Um, so this is our homeschool room. I feel like the, I finally have something that's functional. I'm really happy with it. I, if you know, if you've been following me along for a while, you know I'm constantly changing things, but I like how it turned out this year. Um, also this chalkboard is from Hobby Lobby and the garland I got from Pottery Barn. It was like 90% off or something at Pottery Barn Kids. Really inexpensive. So that is our homeschool room. I'm really excited for the 2019-2020 school year. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you can see the rest of my back to school homeschool prep videos. I'm really excited. And then make sure you also stay tuned because after I'm done with a week of back to school prep, I'm going to be doing Vlogist where I have a video for you guys every day in the month of August. So I'm really excited to share with you lots of different things. So make sure you're subscribed to see what I have in store for you. I hope you enjoyed this homeschool room tour and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.